Hi, it's Paul Browning from HowToNetwork.net. Welcome to our 109th tip of the week. I'll have to check the date actually. It's Thursday, the tip always goes out on a Thursday, 22nd of October 2009. Um, so I wrote an article a while ago and I think it would really help you um, with your careers and, and with your studying and whatnot. And it's 10 books every Cisco engineer should read. Excuse me while I straighten up my camera. This isn't in any particular order, but if you want to be a good Cisco engineer, you're going to have to dedicate yourself to continually improving, learning new things, keeping the old stuff that you learned up to date as well, so refreshing that. So I'm going to pop up the names of the book on the screen as well, and also some pictures if I can get them. These aren't in any particular order, but there's 10 books I really do recommend you invest in. You can get them second hand on eBay or Amazon Marketplace so you don't have to buy them brand new. The first one is uh, Cisco CCNA Simplified. Yes, it's my book, I'll put my hands up. I basically wrote it because I'd read all the CCNA manuals and I really found them confusing to be honest. I don't know about you but I struggle to learn a lot of complex IT concepts and I really want to know if I'm going to learn some theory I want to know how I can apply it to a live network. So I've put this book together to show you how to do just that. If you want to read about it, you can come to howtonetwork.net. There's a link there for CCNA Simplified, or you can come to the book section. But if you click on that and uh, have a look at CCNA Simplified, it'll cover it in, in a lot more detail. But I think I'm the only author that puts his money where his mouth is and says, if you're not happy with it, then just post it back to me. Um, but this book's been read by several thousand Cisco engineers now, and people just like you. So that's all I, I want to say about my own book. <clears throat> Uh, the next book is Routing TCP IP, or for the Americans, Routing TC, I, TCP IP, by Jeff Doyle. Jeff is actually um, one of our experts on HowToNetwork.net. He's one of the original CC, CCIEs. He's one of the first guys to pass his CCIE. Very, very knowledgeable. The book is really thick. This is a picture of Jeff Doyle here. Uh, the guy's phenomenal. He's written some very um, advanced topics. The great thing about reaching TCP IP is it's it's written in such an easy to understand format that you really will be fine even if you're a beginner. It explains it really uh, really well, lots of diagrams and lots of easy to understand explanations and it's also read by CCIEs, but it's a fantastic book. The next one is CCIE Practical Studies by Carl Soley. Carl Soley is a CCIE and he's written two manuals, version one and uh, manual one and manual two, and it covers all of the fundamental Cisco topics, including IP packets, all of the network, networking protocols, switching, access lists, um, in great detail. But it's a brilliant book, and even if you are just starting out, it's a great thing to dip into because everything he talks about he applies to a live live routers and switches. So that's number three. Uh, number four is the second volume of CCIE Practical Studies by Carl Soley. This covers more advanced subjects like quality of service, route, route maps, uh, advanced Ethernet switching, and BGP. But um, don't need you don't necessarily need to buy that for a CCNA level at all. It just does cover some of the more advanced subjects. Next is a book called IP Routing Fundamentals by Mark A. Sportak. Really nice introduction to basic routing uh, concepts, loads of explanations um, for you, and it covers all the basic uh, IP protocols. The next thing, uh, this is a Cisco field manual router configuration. If you could only carry one book with you when you're out in the field, this would be the one I recommend you take. It's got loads of configuration commands for Cisco iOS routers. Number seven. Cisco Certification Bridges, Routers and Switches for CCIEs. I think this is actually out of print, but you can get copies maybe off Amazon Marketplace or maybe eBay. But really good book. It used to be CCIE level, now it's probably lower CCMP, uh, advanced CCNA level, but really useful book to have. It's packed full of explanations and labs and really easy to read. Next thing is Cisco LAN Switching. That's by... Um, Kennedy Clark and Kevin Hamilton, Cisco Press. 
loads and loads of explanations about uh, how lands work, high speed lands uh, and land design and very useful to understand all about Cisco switching. Number eight, for those of you that are platinum members of the site I just wanted to show you uh, some new exams that we've added for you guys. I'll log into the members area but we're adding loads of videos and we're having some discussion groups um, we've got you've got your discussion group already and we're having some phone conferences for you guys soon but if you go to the platinum member membership area after you've logged in click on platinum ccna exams i've added a switching exam test all your ios switching commands really important for the ccna exam and a general ccna test exam there so hope you enjoy it guys uh, the other thing is I've added a challenge. If you're doing the CCNA security, the IINS, I've done a thousand dollar challenge here. You need to be a member of the site to be part of the challenge, but basically first place if you pass it before the end of this year, 2009, a thousand dollars. Second prize is 500 and third is 250 dollars. If you're studying for the exam, you might as well um, join in the challenge anyway. Uh, it's free to join and um, you know the prizes will certainly help buy some extra Christmas presents. The other thing is uh, this hasn't been announced officially by Cisco yet but if you come to the home page of howtonetwork.net we had lots of articles so these might drop off after, after a while but you should be able to find it under feature articles. There's some new Cisco CCNP exams coming out um, in 2010 Cisco haven't officially announced it yet like I said so please don't email me asking questions about how it's going to work but the current routing switching ISCW and ONT exams are changing and next year it's going to be an IP routing exam a switching exam and a troubleshooting exam this is what I mentioned earlier so you really um, you need to understand your troubleshooting we're going to have all of this content on the site for next year the switching and the routing won't change much but um, the ONT and the ISCW exams are going to be retired, so um, we're adding all the new stuff to the um, to the site. Uh, the other thing is, um, I like to talk about emails I get off <coughs> various people. I've had two students um, leave the site this week, which is absolutely fine. Uh, I just like to talk a bit about the psychology of success, really. The article's called Would You Sell Your TV for One Million Dollars? And it's via the um the featured article section. So please please come over. I'd really like to hear what you think. If you'd like to have a read the article, you can leave a comment or review. Basically the first guy emails me and says, um he's trimming back costs, uh, he's doing some budgeting and he's he's leaving the site. He's not no longer um doing any CCNA studies. Well um I was in the same boat, I was absolutely desperately broke um, but what happened was I was on a help desk, I studied for my CCNA that helped me leave my $28,000 salary and move up to $36,000 I studied hard for six months and passed my CCMP and then I walked. I got a contract working uh, for a telecoms company for $110,000 I was obviously paid in pounds in the UK but it works out at dollars then eventually after a year of doing that I started my own IT company Networks Incorporated which I've now sold but while I was running that it made over a million dollars. What I'm trying to say is it's really important the last thing to cut, cut costs on is educating ourselves and just you can buy books second hand you can get on live racks you don't even need to buy routers or you can um, get routers off eBay and sell them again after you're finished but it's really important um, if you keep up some of your money to invest in yourself um, so if I'd had to I would have sold my tally to study for my CCNA I didn't have to but um, that's translated into well over a million dollars and I still haven't finished yet I've also added a, another article to the features article page somebody emailed me and said what's the fastest way to pass your CCNA I almost deleted that email because that annoyed okay so that's the end of the tip of the week I really appreciate you watching um, I, I really hope you come over to howtonetwork.net and uh, sign up for the, the tip of the week because you'll get lots of extra goodies on there and there's loads of free stuff on the site I understand some people won't want to join and I, um, that's absolutely fine but there's loads of free goodies iOS commands challenge labs and the CCNA in 60 days program 
Okay, so I'll see you next week and thanks for watching.